So I finally satisfied the 4000 watch hour requirement to be monetized. In this video, I'll discuss what it took to get here. Tip number one, use your analytics. We have to listen to the data and act upon what's working and not working. As a starting point, you can use this to determine your top moments and top videos. Here's how it's done. For top moments, you need to select analytics from your dashboard and then filter the time range to lifetime to get the big picture. By default, you're taken to the overview tab, but we need to select engagement because that's where the watch hours will be. The key moments for audience retention is below and you select top moments to get a view of it. Here, you will see the videos that contributed to these top moments as well as how long the audience has kept watching. Knowing this information would enable you to make better creative decisions when it comes to editing the video post-production. But what if you want to know which videos gave you the most watch time? For that information, we have to scroll back up to where your watch hour chart is located and click See More. By default, this button will route you to a page that ranks your videos based on watch time. These would represent the trending topics within your channel, which you could make more videos about. Tip number two is to use end screens and cards. This is an opportunity to put your audiences in binge mode, especially if you have videos that are related to each other. But how exactly do we set these up? From your dashboard, select content to view a list of the videos you've made, Pick one video and click the pencil icon to edit the details, and within the same page, you will see end screen. There's a lot of layouts as you can see. Personally, I want the one with the video, the playlist, and the subscribe button. If you're using this option, there is a need to specify which playlist you're going to display, and for this instance, I'm going to pick PSN Gaming. I save the changes, and then I set up the cards. For cards, you have an option to insert a video, a playlist, or a channel. It's up to you which one to use, but normally I just pick the playlist where the video belongs. I save the changes and that's it. I recommend watching the video to make sure that the changes were successful. As you probably know, the cards will be at the top right corner of your screen, while the end screen would appear at the last 20 seconds of the video by default. In relation to this, tip number three is to organize your content into playlists. This is recommended for videos that are related to each other, and also this makes navigation easier for you and your audience. I highly recommend doing this when you upload the video. Another thing worth mentioning is to sort the videos within a playlist by most popular. You can do this in Creator Studio by going to Playlists and selecting one to edit in YouTube. Once you're in this page, you click the Sort menu and select Most Popular. I do this to keep my biggest hits in view, or as I like to call it, putting my aces in their places. And finally, tip number four is to have a popular upload section in your channel page. Again, this is about putting your aces in their places. You can do this in Creator Studio by going to customization and adding a section. These videos have historically proven themselves and are worthy of center stage. Think about it as a playlist of your all-time best performing videos. And of course, we visit the channel afterwards to verify that the changes were successfully made. Let's review. Here's how to get 4,000 watch hours in YouTube. Use your analytics to locate top moments in videos. Use end screens and cards in every video. Organize similar or related content into playlists. And add a popular upload section in your channel page. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, and let me know what you think in the comments. Also, if you're interested in seeing more content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you're always updated whenever I upload new content. Thanks for watching, stay safe and healthy, and of course, have a great day.